So our local motorcycle dealer gave me a pair of size 2 dragon jeans. Like, I guess nobody had purchased them. They're size 2, and uh, maybe no one came in for that size ever. And I don't think they carry a ton of inventory in jeans. So what happened was I saw the dollar price, and I said, well... I'll go ahead and take them because, well, actually, let me back up. That's not what happened. They showed me the jeans because I was interested in motorcycle jeans in general. And then that was the only pair they had for me to look at, I guess. But anyway, so I got the jeans. I felt them. I was like, oh, these are so cool. Wow, they're only a dollar. And I was like, well, they're not going to fit me. So I never, I didn't take them. And then that night, I told my husband, and he was like, what are you doing? Go back and get those jeans. And I was like, well, they're not going to fit me. So, well, we went back and picked them up just before they closed that day. And I did confirm they were really, really small. I'm a size 4. They're size 2. And I got home and I just tried to squeeze into them. I was like, I got maybe I can make this fit. Nope, it wasn't happening. So I was like, what am I going to do with a pair of jeans that don't really fit? And so I posted something on Facebook because I looked on YouTube and I was like, well, maybe I can sew it myself or make it bigger or cut it up, cut it open and try to do some modifications. But I don't really have that experience. So... Um, then I found this other video that was like, well, cut them up and then like use some glue in this other option. There was like crazy options online, but they all just seemed like it wasn't, it, it, they weren't going to work. So I posted a picture of the jeans on YouTube asking for any, or on uh, Facebook to ask if anybody knew of a seamstress that might be able to make them bigger. Um, so uh, one of my friends was able to do that. At least that's what the idea was. She took it to the seamstress, and they were going to, like, cut it in the area by the hips, but it was basically not going to work no matter what they tried. There wasn't... it was, I don't know if there wasn't enough material or what, but the only option that they had left was to take a pair of my jeans, like some jeans that I had that actually fit or were a little too big, and then basically cut out the Kevlar in the, the these dragon jeans is what they're called, cut out the Kevlar and stick them in my jeans. And I was like, wow, that's a cool idea. So I went ahead and gave up this pair of jeans to them, and they, boom, like a week later, had them back, and... I slipped them on this morning, and as you can see by the picture, they are awesome. They're so awesome. They're comfortable, and I get to wear them in hot weather. And a day like this, it's actually 81. We had some massive storms yesterday, like crazy, 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 crazy storms. What are you doing, woman? Uh, try to turn on my love signal. It's kind of hard when you're holding your clutch. Yep. Well, so now I'm testing out my jeans. And they work like a charm. They feel a little like a little more hotter. They're a little hotter than haha. Uh-huh, they're hotter <coughs> than the average pair. They're thicker, uh, but they're still cooler than my big bulky Joe Rocket black um, vinyl pants. I mean, they absorb the sunlight and they get so. Hot in them. I get so hot in them. 
So this is kind of nice. Ooh, wow. That's what happened yesterday. This road was blocked last night. Knocked down that power line. Wow. Crazy. And that tree, too, it looks like. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. And they cleaned up the street for us, too. Nice. Oh, man, those storms. I was in an office building in Tyson's Corner yesterday in the evening, and it, it, there was just, the lightning was every, not even every five seconds, it was just boom, 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 and then if it wasn't in one spot, it was, you know, another spot, and you could see it across all the clouds, and it was insane storms, because I guess it got up to 99 yesterday, and the atmosphere was really unstable, and after all that, I got to see the coolest cloud ever, the Mamatis cloud. Whoa, that was a strange little piece of crap on the ground. But the Mamatis clouds are indicative of an unstable atmosphere and stuff. Just want to make sure. I guess the electric people left some stuff on the ground. But yeah, yeah, so wow, I guess a lot of people didn't even go to work today or something because usually this area is so full of traffic. Or maybe they just knew that the road was detoured this morning. Because last night I came by and there was there were flares and they had a big concrete barrier back there. This is the coolest little town. Wow, but there aren't that many people. Like there's a little traffic, but usually it's just like this the whole way through. So. Good old Northern Virginia. But yeah, uh, I was at this office building in Tyson's, and it was absolutely insane. Now, if I go down this street, I'm wondering what what it looks like from the storm. They had severe thunderstorm warning issued. Oh, see all this gravel? I know it's going to be bad back here. Maybe I should not go back here. Oh, there's some little tiny fine pebbles. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I don't think there were tornado warnings or anything around here. There were two days ago we had, or three days ago, the day before Father's Day, we had, uh, where we were, there was a tornado just across the Potomac River. And then uh, a little further north, there was one in Woodbridge. Um, so yeah, it's uh, been quite a show lately. But yeah, those Mamanus clouds, oh man. They are something, I guess they're really rare. They look like very apocalyptic. And so what I think I read about it is that it's, there's two levels of air masses, and one is super, super dry air, and one is super unstable air. And then there's some stuff that happens. I hope you stay there, lady. Thank you. I'm not trying to go very fast because I don't trust any of the roads with all the gravel around here. Lots of washouts. Momentous clouds. They're described as, like, they're very symmetrical and, like, little pops of, like, almost like a bunch of popcorn stuck together, but that's not really a good description. They're, um, like, mammary glands. <laughs> I guess that's why they're called mammoth clouds. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a really bad thing. It's, it's analogy. They're... Uh, I can tell you if you have trypophobia, it might bother you because it's all perfectly, it's about symmetrical. And... Oh, Lamantis clouds! How about I just show you a picture of them and then that way I don't have to sit there and try to describe those clouds. 
ice cream. Maybe I should get some ice cream. Dude, I'm going to get some ice cream. 